You may already know that Widgeot can be downloaded in any Android device. And well, if not, I have a complete video about that. But well, is this version really necessary? I decided to make a video about this topic as in previous videos showing you how to download Widgeot in mobile, there were some people asking what is the point of this version. So here I am to explain my point. And now let's start. Firstly, let's talk about accessibility in a whole new light. You know, not everyone has access to a fancy PC setup. With Goodjot, you're not tied down to a traditional computer. You can write code, design levels, and craft your dream games on Android devices, be it a tablet or even a smartphone. And well, if you're watching this, you have either a PC or a mobile, meaning that you can create games in them. So why don't you take advantage of, the, of that? In addition to this, sometimes you may be abroad or just don't have access to your PC. Or well, you may just want to prototype on the go. That's when this Android version becomes super amazing. So in conclusion, being able to use Widget in a phone comes with endless possibilities within the mobile phone. I mean that every uh, phone feature and amazing thing can be applied to the Gujot engine. This means being able to program whenever and wherever you want and all the other stuff. Then the fact that Gujot can be run in any Android device also emphasizes its low hardware requirement and versatility. Can you think of any other game engine as powerful as Gujot that can run in any Android device? Of course not. Engines like Unity or Unreal would be nearly impossible to be run in a mobile since they are too heavy on their projects too. But Gujot weights just a couple of megabytes and its projects are also super small. Again, the versatility of Gujot is everything and one of its key features. Of course, not everything is just perfect, there are some bad things. Obviously, the size of the screen is one of its main limitations. Game engines have lots of interfaces and things to play around and this becomes super uncomfortable in a mobile. The touch input is also super uncomfortable, as interfaces had to be scaled down in order to fit in a small screen, touch input is just a disaster. Finally, we have the hardware barrier. If you don't have a PC, probably you don't have an amazing phone. That's the reason why if your phone isn't very powerful, you may experience some crashes. Of course, we can compare a PC's power and a phone's power. Also, the Gujot engine on Android is currently on early access, in beta or something like that. So it means that it isn't actually a stable version we can use so so smoothly as the desktop version. So maybe it isn't a hardware barrier that you may sometimes face, it's just a software uh, issue. But well, some other times you're gonna face hardware barriers because a phone isn't as powerful as a PC. However, some solutions exist to overcome these bad things. To overcome the touch input, you could connect a mouse and a keyboard to your PC. However, I believe there is no actual way to overcome the small screen issue because yes, you could connect a monitor, but that would be a bit expensive, don't you think so? And of course, with the money that you buy a monitor, maybe you could, you could buy maybe an old PC or invest in a more powerful one and just create games there, so I believe it's not worth the money. Also, by just connecting a mouse and a keyboard, it will be so, so much better than just using uh, the touch input, and I believe the next step of that would be to buy an actual PC. I mean, um, the two main possibilities of using Gujot in Android, actually three are just with your mobile and your fingers. The second one is buying a keyboard and a mouse, and well, maybe you could use also an external monitor if you have some spare monitor in your home. But then if you want to scale it further, 
you should buy definitely a PC. So then, is good doubt mobile really necessary? Well, necessary not, as if you want to create a complete game it would be nearly impossible because of the limitations I had talked about earlier. However, if you don't have a PC, definitely it's a nice option to start in a game development area and find out if you really like it, if it is your true passion. If you do, then you could invest in a PC for example. So I believe it's super useful for experimentation or prototyping on the go, not as a main development platform as it is super uncomfortable. Anyway, leave me your opinion in the comments down below. Although you have all the main functionalities you have in the desktop version, I mean, you can create scripts, uh, you can create projects, um, you can do literally anything you can uh, in the desktop version. Let's imagine that you're making a 3D game and you want to import a lot of 3D models, animations, shaders, etc. Of course, um, your phone isn't gonna to support that. So yes, again, this mobile, I will, this mobile version, I will believe, um, is super um, useful to prototype, do some testing, or if you are abroad or you are not at your home and you wanna uh, prototype some something, program something very easy, well, then this mobile version could be really useful. Well, I hope you now have a better understanding of this topic if you like this video please subscribe and leave your like don't forget to share your opinions about this topic on the comments down below see you on the next one and bye bye